welcome to La Rochelle for day four of the 2012 SAP 505 World Championships. It's been a great regatta so far. Here are the highlights from the first three days of racing. The German teams had the best start to the regatta, making the most of a strong sea breeze. Kalmar and Schuller have had a consistent week with three second placings, and they lead by 10 points. The Flying Danes Salman and Gorge had a superb day three, which catapulted them into second overall. After five races, six German teams occupy the top 10 spots on the leaderboard. The reigning world champions Hunger and Kleiner are currently in seventh. A very mixed regatta for us with a couple of uh, good results and uh, a couple of um, races where we had bad luck. There are other boats that are clearly uh, ahead of us and we just try to, to make the best of every single race. We're not the fastest boat in every condition but we're able to have a decent speed at every condition. in the air you really do get a sense of how challenging this world championship is. There is so much to think about. Not only have you got the tide and the wind, but with 188 boats on the start line it gets pretty congested down there. If you don't get off to a good start you really are making life difficult for yourself for the rest of the race. And in today's light conditions the trick was to start early on the left hand side. Loyal and Nevo from France had a breakaway moment on the first beat when they found good pressure on the right. By the top mark they were 100 metres ahead of the chasing boat, Conrads and Haynes from the United States. In shifty breeze, the challenge for the French was staying ahead of those in the trail, Conrads and Haynes and the Boyce and Mueller brothers from Denmark. But the opportunities were few and far between today. The French team, who were 19th overall leading into this race, led right around the course to take the gun ahead of the Boyce and Mueller brothers and Conrads and Haynes. We were uh, trying to stay uh, cool and uh, playing with the wind and not with the other bots because they were uh, always all attacking us and we decided not to defend but to attack again and we, we could stay on, uh, on the front. It's only the second world championship for us. We are in a team with uh, very good bots and we are learning a lot during the championship with a good, uh, good coach. We try not to have a plan with the overall result, only race after race. I coach uh, five boats, it's uh, two French guys, two German and one Australian. Normally I, I coach the 470 in the National Centre of La Rochelle. I know the system of the wind and I think I can help them, but, but they can do many things themselves. It's them who sell, who sell not me. So Kalna and Schola hold their place at the top. But their lead has been slashed to just two points from Salman and Gorge. The Boyce and Mueller brothers have moved into third. Tomorrow is the penultimate day and light sea breezes forecast again. Can the Germans stick it out at the top or will the Danish topple them at the final hurdle? For all the info on watching live, tap on to sap505worlds.com.